Hello. Hi. Welcome back to Happy Little Yarn. This is episode 56. My name is Amy. I'm coming to you from Leesburg, Georgia. And you can find me on Instagram as Happy Little Yarn. Um, let me fix this camera. It's kind of like, wish I could zoom out. This is good. Um, I haven't been here in a while. Let's see, last time I recorded was about 40 days ago, so a little over a month. Got some water. Try not to slam it. My hair is a mess. I have not washed it in a couple days because I got food poisoning yesterday and I felt ferocious. And I just doesn't wash it. So this is what it looks like when I don't wash it. Anyways, this is a knitting episode, a knitting channel. It's not really a podcast, but some of us still say podcast. But, um, sorry I'm messing with my hair. I just, I gotta get it right. Okay, I think I'll do. I'm thinking about cutting it again. So it'll all be like one length. So it'll be like, like round. But, I have some coffee. I hope you have you a nice warm or cold beverage, whatever you prefer. Look at my new cup. Can you guess where I got that? We went to Disney. I got me this night. It's got like a gold handle and it's cream and it's got these little Mickeys all over it. I love it. I'm drinking French roast coffee. No cream or anything, just plain old coffee. Uh, today, I do not have any finished objects because I've lost my knitting mojo for a good while and I just recently started knitting a little bit. But I do have four whips to show you. One acquisition, which is kind of old. I'm sure most of y'all have seen it by now if you watch other um, people that are subscribed to this collection. And I have some life stuff to talk about. So let's get started. Let's start with the big project first, shall we? We all know what it is. It's very similar to my shirt I'm wearing today. Living in my Jesslyn Janice bag, my huge bag that she made and I got in a trade that I did with her. And I think, oh, I think her, um, I'll list her coupon code below, the Jesslyn, her name is JJ, she has a coupon code, but I think it expires today or on the 6th, but I'll still list it below so you can use it if it's still good. But I've got my Whatever Sweater by Julie Knits in Paris in here, and... I don't remember where I was last time I showed this, but I finished the body. I think I was right here last time. I was right before the split hem. So I, I went with the split hem. Roll back so you can see it. Okay, this is the front. It is the front because I did a high-low split hem, if you can tell there. Maybe you can tell better on this side. Yes. See, this is the back. This is the front. About an inch difference. But, and I've got the arm started. One arm is start. This is the, okay, that's the back. So this is the right arm. I'm about five rows from changing colors, adding a different color to it. I'm going to do like 25 rows and then change color. Um, I would like to keep it in sequence, but I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of this and not much of this. So I'm just going to do 20, 25 rows each color and. I want it to come right past my elbow to about right here, and I would like to finish it soon, but I have other priorities right now, and I'm 
lightening on this a little bit today because the only thing I really have to keep track of is how many rows I'm doing. And I have a little notebook. But I'm keeping track of my progress in it. I like I weigh how much each gram, each color I have, the grams of each color, how much I'll need for each arm, and how much, how many rows I do. So every time I do a row, I put a little tick mark. But I got this notebook at Bucks a Million when we went down to Tallahassee, and it's so cute. It says, Meow. But my whatever sweater. I'm so excited that I got the body finished. The halo hem worked out perfectly. Once it's blocked a little bit, it'll, I think, let's stand up. I think it's plenty long enough. Let's pan down. See, it's long enough. Once I block it, it'll be as long as my shirt. I'm pretty sure. Okay, sorry if that was jittery. Now I have to fix my camera. I'm sorry. Bear with. There we go. Whatever sweater by Julie Knits in Paris. It will be finished one day, one day, one day. I have so many little ends that need to be woven in. But y'all, it's worth it. It's like a spider web of neons. Wouldn't it be awesome if spiders had neon webs? I wouldn't mind them then. But this bag, for real, go to Jesslyn Janice and a portion of her sales go to her local humane society. I think she's still doing that. I'm pretty sure she does. I can't remember the name of it, but I think I'll list it below. Um, and I'll put a link to her shop in there, as well as the link to the pattern for the whatever sweater. Look at this bag. Everything, all my yarns are in this bag and it's that full. Like, I have that much space left. All my yarns I need to finish this sweater is in here. It's perfect. I got a notions bag in there, my notebook. Oh, my notebook's not in there. Let me put my notebook in there so I don't forget it. But I'm going knitting with my friend in the morning, Misty. We're going to meet at the coffee shop and knit. And I think that's what I'm going to take. That or this next, pro oh no, I'll show you this next project that I wanted to show you next last. Because there's a story that goes with it now. Okay, next, I am still hosting the leggings slash pants mal. Um, I have not gotten very far because I'm still on ribbing. I have to do five inches of ribbing on this particular pattern. I think it's called the tan something. I'll put on the screen what the name of the pattern is and who designed it. And I'll put a link in the description for um, who designed it. Sorry, my dog was back there hacking. I just wanted to make sure that was my dog and not my child. One might need the Heimlich, one might not. Okay, so where is my, this is how much I have finished on my waist for the leggings. I have been working on this. I took this to Disney with us. And at night, I worked on it a little bit. This one by one ribbing is just a killer. Okay, here's where I was. That's where I was last time. That showed it. So I've done from here up. Which ain't too bad. I mean, I probably have a good three and a half inches, so I have another inch and a half to go. Let me move my marker while I'm thinking about it. This is Friday, by the way, y'all. Friday, March 3rd, 2023. <sighs> I 
half day at work today. It is 1.28. I'm a little late starting to record this because the man that sprays my house was a little late getting here for the bug man. So I had to wait on him. But that's how much I have done on my leggings. I'm still chucking along. The mail runs to the end of June, so I'm hoping to at least get to the leg split by then. Let's be real. My knitting mojo has been very low. Motivation to pick up anything to knit on has been very low. Nothing's wrong. Well, I mean, of course, there is that nationwide shortage on Adderall again, but... I have been without Adderall for three weeks now. I went through the withdrawals. That was hard. And, I mean, I have zero concentration now, but, and I'm tired after work constantly. And I usually go to bed around seven o'clock or eight, seven usually. <sighs> but, Life goes on. Can't have medicine. I just won't have it. My leggings are living in this bag, which is a yarn to die for designs bag. It was a gift from Robin. Thank you, Robin. I do use the bag. I love it. And I want to knit on this now. Every time I pick up something, I really want to knit on it. Okay, next thing. I, I know I showed you this last time, my sock. My worsted weight bleachy sock. Um, oh my, what did I do? Okay. I started the heel. I did the heel flat. So last time I was to right here, I did the cuff to right here, and I decided to go with one more color stripe. I did the heel, and then I got lazy, and I didn't do the heel turn. And then I have to do the gusset. See, now I want to knit on this. I'm finished with this, the heel flap, I think. I, I kept no notes on this, so I'm, I think I'm done. I don't know. I, the pattern, I, I use a YouTube video. I think she's called Pearl Together or something like that. I'll list it below what I used to use for my heel flap and gusset. So I can't do it by memory. I don't, I'm not that good. So, what's this little stitch marker? It's a little heart. A little heart. Progress Keeper, I mean. I have so many Progress Keepers and stitch markers. I wish I could use more of them, but that means I would have more projects. And I don't need any more projects on the go. But for this, this is, I can't remember the name of it, like Rustic Cabin or something like that. I don't have the... Oh, yes, I do have it. <laughs> Rustic Cabin, I was right. Felici Worsted White Rustic Cabin. And this is an old colorway, so I don't think you can get it anymore. I'm sorry. And... The heel, I'm using just bare Felici worsted. But I do have that. And I feel like they're going to be really loose. So I think I did 52 stitches around. Two by two. Either 52 or 54. I can't remember. I'd have to count now. Um, I think I want to decrease it down to 48 when I do the gusset so it's tighter around my foot. So it doesn't loose, loosen up, and just have it baggy around my ankles. And I think that would be like a fun little 80s look. Oh, it's windy out. We have a wind advisory today. It's supposed to rain. It has not rained in a minute here. Well, it really hasn't. Okay. That's my socks. This is just a vanilla sock pattern. I'm not following anything except for Pearl Together's. I think that's what her name is. Pearl Together on YouTube. I would look, but that takes time. 
but I'm just guessing and then I'm using her pattern for the heel flap gusset heel turn okay finally I don't have a bag for that either sorry I'm working on a blanket that has been in hibernation forever. I think I showed this last time. It was in a bag that I gave to my husband to carry his phone in when he walks around the neighborhood. My Pac-Man bag that was knit for brains. So I lost my bag, but that's okay. He's exercising. That's good. Or he was. But I have this mitered square blanket. I think it's called a uh, cozy memory blanket. I don't remember who. I'll put the link below, but this was my first. The one with the orange or the peach on it was the first square I did. And I recently just finished this square, this square, and this square. So I'm on to this pink square, a new row, a new column. And I'm making this for my mom, who uh, is, I, I don't keep it a secret, she has lung cancer. But we got bad news this week that it's worse than we thought. I'm not going to go into details because that's kind of private, but I'm making her this. I want her to have a blanket. I want to make her something. And I'm work. I'm primarily working on this right now for my mom. She makes me blankets all the time. She crochets, and I want to make her a little lap blanket for when she's sitting in her chair crocheting at night. She'll have my blanket on her lap to keep her warm. So I love my mama. Just keep her in your thoughts. Hopefully the doctor's wrong and we can just go nee, 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 nee. That's what I want to do. You know, doctors have no bedside manners sometimes, especially cancer doctors. When a doctor tells you how bad it is and tells you that, oh, death is natural part of life. Yeah, it is. Okay. But no one will remember you in a few months after you die. Oh, hell. I'm glad I was not in that room. I'm glad my sister was in that room. My sister let that doctor have it. You don't talk to my mama that way. My mom was crushed. So, I'm like, no. Oh, hell no. Find a new doctor. Anyways, this is happy. Happy times. We're going to keep this happy. All energetic levels are going to be high. I'm not going to let my mom see me upset. I don't want her to be upset. I just want to support her and make her pretty things. Oh, and also, oh my God. Let me write it down because I'll come back to it in life stuff or dream nets. But these are the yarns I'm using right now. I'm using Row 1 Minis. I just re-signed up to Row 1 Mini because I want to get this blanket finished and I need more Row 1 Minis because they're already wound up. And I'm that lazy. I want it all to be kind of neutrals, like earth tone neutrals, colors. I mean, yeah, pink is not really neutral, but I want it all to be light. I don't want pops of neon or anything. But... This is Rosewater. I don't remember who dyed it. I just remember the name was Rosewater. And this is called Three Little Pigs. And I don't remember who dyed it, but it's called Three Little Pigs. And, to get, and I'm holding them together to make DK weight. And that's what it looks like held together. So, there's that. Cozy Memory Blanket. Okay, and then I do have some acquisition, and I got this like two months ago. It took me a month to get to the bag just to open it, just because 
I don't care. But the Freckled Whimsy uh, yarn clubs I was in, I canceled. Um, I really wish I had this knitted. This is her DK weight yarn of the month, 12 straight repeat. It's called Shenanigans. It's beautiful in St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I wish I had them knitted. But I can't, I can't legitly, I, I can't cast on anything else right now. Got to get that blanket finished. I'm putting about one square in every day and a half during the week while I'm working. So maybe during the weekend I can do two squares a day. If I can keep my motivation, which I should be able to keep my motivation. I have a legit reason why I need this done. I need my mama to stay warm. I love my mama. And then I got Freckled Whimsy Fancy Flyer Hedwig. This is her Spells and Things. It's a 12 stripe repeat. And it's her February colorway. I canceled my Freckled Whimsy because I bought something and I needed the money. So instead of paying. I'll be up front. These are like $40 a piece plus shipping. So instead of paying 80 some dollars a month, I canceled it because I'm not using them. And I bought a car. That's right. I got rid of my Traverse. I bought myself a brand new 2023 Hyundai Palisade. It is the cat's meow car. That's the fanciest car I've ever owned. It's a little SUV. It's not, it's like the size of a Toyota Highlander or an Explorer, kind of. It's not, it's smaller than my Traverse a little bit. But it's so nice. Like, it's, it has Spotify on it. It's really cool. I love it. And it drives itself. Like, no lie. It can detect like the lines in the road and it'll stop when a car in front of you stops and when it sees a turn on the line in the roads it turns now I'm not brave enough to do that my husband did that on our trip back from Disney our drive back from Disney but I was like okay that's cool I don't want to do this I'd rather just drive it myself Okay, and then Future Knits, I don't know if you can see that, that yellow yarn right there, those two yellow yarns, that is going to be a flex light for my friend at work who is pregnant with a baby. I get to knit baby knits. I really like her and I want to knit her something, so I'm going to make her a flax light sweater. We don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, so I asked her, what's your neutral color that, you know, you love? She said yellow. I'm like, I have the perfect yellow. That yellow right there is Hedgehog Fibers. I think it's called Pollen. I can't remember, but I'm going to try to wind it up this weekend and get started on that. So that and this are going to be my two priorities. The sock is my last priority. The sweater might be second and the leggings is third. So yeah, I'm hosting a legging mail, but I'm kind of not participating in it right now. My dogs are beating each other up. We'll be fine. They're just arguing over the blanket. I know this because that's what they always do. And I said I was going to do a giveaway this time, but I don't have anything ready. And it's been so long since I recorded last, I just want to get my feet wet again recording. So I'm sorry if you're here for a giveaway. I'm just not ready yet, okay? Apologies. Apologies. Okay, so life stuff. We talked baby knits. We talked row one minis. No knitting mojo. I got a new car. I don't have a picture of it. I haven't taken a picture of it. I posted the picture that the dealership had um, 
on their website of the car. It's a Hyundai Calligraphy. I don't know. It's like, it's supposed to be like the top of the line. I don't know. It's fancy. I feel like I'm going to break it. Somebody already scratched it at Disney. It pissed me off. It's like an inch long scratch. It pissed me off. But now it's covered in yellow. Or I would go take a picture and show you. But y'all get snow up north. We get pollen storms down south. It's yellow. It's a charcoal color car. And it's yellow right now. I'm going to get it washed on Monday. Or maybe this weekend. I don't know. Um. Also, I got a new Kindle. It's called a Kindle Special Edition. Where it's wireless chargeable. And right now I'm using my phone. Which I'm recording on. To read. Because my Kindle won't hold a charge anymore. It dies in like a day. So I've got a new Kindle. It won't be in until the end of March. Because I think it's new and it hasn't been released yet. Or it's just on back order. I don't know. But i got a pop socket to put on the back of it. I'm just going to go around and read. Right now, the book I'm reading is Keeper of Enchanted Rooms. And if you have Kindle Unlimited... It's free right now on Kindle Unlimited. I think it came out November 22, in 2022. But it's by Charlie Holmberg. And I'm only in chapter four, but so far it is very, it has my attention. You know, we know books have a hard time keeping my attention. So this book is very magical, fantasy, kind of the uh, not suspicious uh, suspense you don't know what's going to happen i don't know what's happening so far it's still mystery no clue what's going on but it's a good book i really like it it's called keeper of enchanted rooms and i, I hate to say this but i have all these books up here i have not read i've read some of them but i have all these books I think I like the Kindle better because it fits in my bag and I don't forget it. Or like the Kindle on my phone. You know, like, I never forget my phone. I forgot my phone at Disney. Oh my God. We went into Epcot. We got through bag check. I was like, I forgot my phone in the car. And you know, if you've been to Disney, we got preferred parking, so it wasn't that far away. It was about like a half a mile from the entrance. So we didn't have to take a tram or anything to go get the car. But my husband was nice. It was like, I'll go get it. Just y'all sit down and wait on me. Okay. So he went back to the car. It took about 20 minutes. And he got back. And had my phone. Of all places to forget your phone. You don't forget it at Disney. You need pictures. You have an itinerary on your phone if you use Disney Experience app. All that good stuff. And also, the last thing I'll talk about, I bought a new bag today. And I will put a picture of it right here if I can remember. It's at Shop Disney for Disney 100, Disneyland's 100th anniversary. It's the Enchanted bag or something like that. But it's covered in Disney characters. I'm really excited. <sighs> a lot has happened in the past month and a half. New car. Oh, and I went to Anthropology again and bought me a new pair of pants. Got a new Kindle. Went to Disney. Oh, and the hotel we stayed at at Disney. We had to get a new hotel because the one we usually stay at, the resort was full. So we found a new resort. Oh my God, it was so nice so nice and my friend's pregnant at work I get to knit baby knits now I've got Rowan minis coming my way now reading another book trying to trying to read I get home at 5 o'clock well, about 5.15 after work <sighs> eat dinner I usually have to take clonopin for anxiety and then I just pass out by 7 o'clock I don't get that much time. I haven't watched YouTube in a while. 
I have not watched I haven't, I haven't even watched New Mandalorian yet. Did y'all know Mandalorian season three is out now on Disney Plus? Yes. Go watch it. We're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna watch the first episode tonight. I think we're gonna do it on Friday nights because during the week I'm just so tired. I'm so glad I don't work till five on Fridays. If I ever say I'm going to look for a new job, y'all just remind me. You ain't going to find no job that lets you out at 12 o'clock on Fridays. I'd be like, Amy, you listen to me. i would be like, okay, you're right. You're right. I do need to start studying for my CPA. I feel like that's like one of the things I need to do before something major happens in life like my mom oh I just I want I don't want to talk about it I just need to get my CPA my mom's on my mind a lot lately I, I really think like what what could I do for mom next weekend we're all going out to eat we're going to take her to Longhorn and we're going to eat my dad's talking about a beach trip this summer, but nobody knows but me and him. And Jill, my sister, if you're watching this, um, now you know. Just don't say nothing. But, I don't know. Sad times. But, that's all I've got to report today. Um, leave me a comment below. Just tell me how you're doing. What you're working on. I'm glad to be back. I hope I get to do this every Friday from now on. I hope there's nothing funky going on anymore. Things have just been hectic. And I want my knitting mojo back. But I thought I would just come on and share a little bit with you today. So, I hope y'all have a good day. A good week. Good night. Whatever time of day you're watching this. And I will catch you next Friday, hopefully, which will be, I think, the 10th. Yeah, I was right. Uh, March 10th. And I will try to get a giveaway prize together before then. But today, my brain, after the week I've had and the news that we've received, I'm just like, I just need a distraction. I'll record. Y'all yeah, so. have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Love you all. Love the ones around you. Give them big hugs and tell them you love them because that's important. So, see y'all. Bye.